Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots. I'm gonna show you how to quote, cut an image three different ways using shapes, images, and even text. So I am going to be working inside of XCS. This is the current version. I am going to show you a shape, which is also known as a vector. Number two will be an image, which can also be known as a bitmap or a raster image. And then number three, which will be text. So all three of those are gonna be done in 12 minutes or so. And I promise you, if I'm going too fast, go to the slow down the playback speed, which is the little cog on your YouTube. Go to that, choose playback speed, and anything above it will slow this down. So I'm just putting this all to ignore because we're not actually gonna make anything. Do open your layers panel. When you're working with this kind of stuff, always choose the very bottom left and go to your layers panel. So we're going to choose a couple of shapes. So our shapes can be basic shapes like the square or rectangle, a circle, but they can also be these vector images inside of here. So as you can see, they look a little bit different. So I'm just going to make them look a little bit more similar. So I'm going to select all three of them. I'm going to uh, align them to the bottom. I'm going to select um, distribution and then engrave so that they all look the same, but they're all vectors. So going back into the layers panel, want to keep this open. If I select this, I have options to come up here and edit the nodes. Nodes are what is going to tell the system where to cut or engrave or whatever, right? So I can remove a couple of nodes, but if you see here, that is not going to work because it changes the actual shape. Why? Because it is trying to close a path in a vector. So you can see I can edit these shapes individually. I can move these shapes individually by selecting, releasing the compound path. So that's not what we want. Let's undo this. Now, if we split this, we just need a rectangle. So you can take a rectangle. You can make it as thick or as thin as you like. I make it really, really thin to maintain the original shape. So if I make some one of these a different color, it doesn't matter which one, you can see that those are two different shapes. In the layers panel, we have a purple rectangle and a little black rectangle. I'm just going to vertically align them so you can see it's going to split it right down the middle. Both of them selected, choose subtract. Now, that is actually creating two vectors, but right now they're compounded. So we need to release the compound path, and we get two shapes. Now you can alter these shapes individually at this point by moving them, spreading them. You can alter the top end points, it doesn't matter, right? And you can do this exact thing with any shape. It doesn't matter because if I were to release any kind of um, node that we did in the future by going into, or that we did in the past by going into uh, the edit menu, every single time, every future piece would be altered because we are not splitting the image, we are just removing some nodes. It will always try and close that path, which is why when we do this, we have to release the path to get two separate pieces. Now at this point, you can take anything and you can put it inside here and combine the two of them. For example, if I type the word square, I can just change this to engrave so you can see it easy. Now, this is going to be a horrible combination because we're going to lose the cue. <laughs> but you can see I can put this text in between here. And I can move each of these pieces individually, but I'm going to center them, make sure they're centered. So what if I just want to move up the bottom one so I can move up the bottom one only, right? And move it down. It doesn't matter. You can do anything you want. So now if I highlight all of them and hit combine, now it's one piece right? That is a single vector. Okay. And I'm just going to hit undo because we don't need that there, but it doesn't matter if you do this in any font, doesn't matter in any size. You can do this as small as you'd like, or as big as you'd like. I would just give a quick reminder that some of the thinner fonts like this one here, it's not going to be working out a whole lot unless you're engraving, but just FYI, you can combine it. You can layer it, whatever you want to do. You can score it, you can engrave it, and you can cut it. Okay. All of these, you can see on this one, I'm, this is what I would do. Take a nice big chunky font like Cooper, and then I would combine all these. Like if you have a cute little monogram name and you want to put it together, position everything, just make sure we've got some touching and select all of them and combine. Now that's one piece. 
Isn't that cool? All right, so that's it for shapes and vectors. You just literally can do that on repeat without ever adjusting the nodes. So I'm just gonna call this little group shape vector and then I'm gonna turn it off and lock it. So now we need to go to image or a raster image. This is really easy. They're gonna have a JPEG, a PNG, but whatever style, uh, style type it is, it's gonna say engrave over here on the right for any processing. That's all we have. If you came in here to hit edit, it's just editing the image. We don't want that, right? We, there's no nodes. So we're going to do it the easy way, which is in XCS, we're going to create a rectangle and I'm just gonna change it to engrave so you can see it a little better. Now I have two pieces. I have the rectangle and I have my image, right? And you can see I am going to line the uh, rectangle up with the image and auto snap. If you don't have your auto snap in place, you can go to auto snapping or do what I do, which is just command or control R. So if you were to do this right now as is, you would fail. So we want to copy each of these pieces. So you were gonna make a copy of the rectangle and you were gonna make a copy of the image. And what will happen, you can see over in the left-hand layers panel, we now have two images. We're just gonna uh, horizontally and vertically align them, doesn't matter. I'm just snapping it. You can see those little lines appear. And now we need to do the same thing down here. We need to copy and paste this rectangle. So whether you have it snapped in place or not, we, we just need to copy and paste it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off and lock one image and then I'm gonna turn off and lock one rectangle. And so all we have to do is make sure the rectangle is above our image. That's it. That's the only layer, layering you have to be mindful of. Once you have the rectangle on top of the image and snapped in place, you can just create a mask. Now, this part at the bottom is what will show. So when we hit done, let me turn off these other layers. You can see that's what we have left. Now, we wanna lock that layer. See, it's a little half image, so let's lock it and uh, put it to no view. Turn on our other ones and unlock them. Now we would take the other rectangle and do the opposite. So wherever we want to cut the other side, we'd have to move our mask up. So now I can highlight both of them, create my mask, select done. And now we have our two pieces. And again, you can individually edit these however you want. You can cut this into fourth for something very, very big for a wall. This is something we use all the time. I'm just gonna group these together, call them image, and then we are going to lock and turn that off and move on to text. Isn't this easy? <sighs> okay, last one. This one can get kind of confusing, but honestly, you've got this. So I'm gonna type in the word mom. I'm gonna make it a very bold font because this is something I'm asked how to do all the time. I'm going to set it engraved so you can see it and make it black. There you go. Let's make it a little bit larger. Now, I am going to always tell you when you are editing something or rasterizing something, you are going to make a copy. So just go ahead and make your copy, align it and turn one of them off. That's it, lock it and turn it off. Now for this one, here we go. I'm gonna come up here to weld. That's gonna turn a live text into an image basically called a compound vector. We can no longer edit this text. If I hide that and go back to our copy, you see up here, I can come up here and edit the text. I can change the font. So just FYI, this is a destructive item, meaning we cannot undo when we do this. So let's say we wanna put something in the center, which is why we're gonna split the image. So I'm just gonna choose some monoline font here. I have a ton of fonts. You can get them from Font Bundles, Creative Fabrica, etc. So I'm gonna choose a font and I'm gonna set it to engrave and change the color so you can see it a little bit better. All right, let's pretend. We wanted to expand this font and it would be in the center of the word mom, okay? But that looks a little jumbled. So let's say we wanna split the mom. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that and turn it off because we're not quite ready to split with that. We wanna work here. So again, guess what you're gonna do? You're just gonna take something here as thick or as thin as you want and then you can hit, I'm just making it engraved so you can see it a little better. Select both, hit subtract. And I know it doesn't look good until you hit release. 
Now we have six pieces. We have everything north of the rectangle and everything south of the rectangle. So I'm gonna select all these three, move them, and then I'll actually group them together so I don't accidentally nudge something. I'm gonna do the same with the top as well. In a second, we're actually going to go one step further. But now you can see we can position our You Are Loved wherever we want, right? Now this would not be great, so I'm gonna show you how to cut this out as well. It's called an offset. So what we're going to do is, as you can imagine, I'm going to weld that together because we're not going to need to do anything with it other than add an image. So these two up here, the top of the mom and the bottom of the mom, we need to make it, let me open this, when you hit combine unite, this is now under this group is going to be a compound vector. We need that for this next thing, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to call this mom you know, so that we know it's not this. Okay, so this compound vector, which is the, what is it, you are loved, is already non-editable, okay? It is raster. So we are now going to add an outline, and you can do as thick or as thin as you want. You can use these arrows, you can type them in. Just make sure that you hit confirm to lock it in. Now we have two pieces for our you are loved. We have our original text, and then we also have the outline. So I'm gonna turn off the text, just drop it down below because we don't need it right now, but we need the group of you are loved and the group or the vector of you are loved and the group of this mom. Select them both and subtract. So the outline is above the mom and it cuts out the outline so that when we turn this back on, it's nice and positioned in a nice little cut. Isn't that easy? I promise you, you're gonna do this so many times for custom work and everything. Again, you can release the mom if you need to adjust. So let's say, oh, this is too far apart and you already did all this. Look, when we release it, you get all these vectors. You can ungroup it or you know group it again if you want, but you can take all these three, move them down, and then you can move the you know, sentiment and then you can even move all the stuff on the bottom or the, the top. It doesn't matter because all of these compound pieces are under a group, okay? So you just ungroup it after you release it if you want more of this kind of stuff, watch my XCS monograms tutorial on YouTube. It looks like this. Any questions, leave them down below.